Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing the 10 questions and 10 outfits almost like a challenge. So I've seen two different Ruby. So I've seen two different challenges going around. So there was the 21 questions and 21 outfits that I've seen Lewis do and I've also seen Emma Chamberlain do. Um, but I was like, I cannot do 21 outfits because I will actually pass out. Um, I honestly can't even think of 21 outfits. So I was like, no, I'm gonna do 10. And then I saw the 10 items and 10 outfits. So you pick 10 items from your wardrobe and then you style them 10 different ways. And I was like, okay, let's just do 10 outfits, 10 questions, go through the outfits and I'll answer the question in each outfit. Gonna be so confusing, I'm probably gonna be sweating after this, um, but I thought it would be fun. Jesus, you could probably 100% see up my dressing gown back there. You can see my bed is full of the outfits and my tripod's on my bed. We're in my bedroom right now, we're not out in the beauty room, so it looks a bit different. Um, but I'm kind of excited because I have a few new bits as well. I will go through each outfit as I said and I feel like we need to get straight into this video. Now I uploaded a question box last week when I actually wanted to film this video and I have the questions so I just handpicked 10 of them and I'll go through them but let's just get straight into it because this is going to take a while. <laughs> we are very very extra for this video. I I'm actually obsessed with this outfit, like I need a summer holiday right now, I need it, like I really need a summer holiday. I feel like I should be walking down Bora Bora, I just like I just need a fancy holiday, I can also get like Italian or French vibes off of this outfit, I'm actually obsessed. So this is outfit number one, my jeans are from Bershka, I got these when I was in Milan so I'm not sure if they actually have them online but they do have very similar ones and I'm pretty sure you would find a pair of cream flared pants from anywhere. I have these paired with my high tops from Zara, um, they definitely have these online so you can see the jeans are flared. Um, this top is from Sheen. I only got this recently. If you just type in like cross body tops, all the tops come up are crisscross tops. That's what I typed in and I got all these tops on there. Um, I got a small in this for anyone that needs like a size guide. I have no boobs, so I would just say go true with true to size because I feel like an extra small would have actually been really tight around my waist, so true to size. Also have my sunglasses from Enchant, my headscarf is also from Enchant, and this is a Prada bag. I actually got this from Elite Materials, it's an Irish company that do really good dupes, so definitely have a look at them, um, or you can go buy yourself a real Prada if you're able to do that. I think this outfit is so cute, like I really want to be on holidays, it's actually so sad. So I have to plug in my phone because... It's going dead, of course, but I'm just gonna get the first question up. So the first question is, what makes you prefer working for yourself than working for others? Is it harder or longer hours? Um, you can choose when you want to work. Like, it's half five now. And I would like, I can choose when I want to work. So I did my workout this morning. I made sure I had everything else done that I need to get done. And then I can film a video when I want. That's what I like because I can play around with time myself. I'm not stuck to like a timetable of when I have to do work. Um, I can be creative. Um, that's kind of it really. I can do what I want. Like that, that's just it really. I can do what I want. I don't have a set contract being told you have to do this. You have to put it this time. You have to finish this time. I can take weekends off. I don't have to work weekends. Now sometimes there would be an odd video or collab that has to be done for like a Saturday or Sunday, which I don't mind because I only do collabs that I actually enjoy doing. Um, so I obviously will enjoy doing it. So that is why I prefer working for myself than working for someone else. Um, is it harder or longer hours? I mean, it's obviously hard in a way that you have to keep up on your work yourself, you're not being told like you have to do this at this time. Now I have an agency which gives me my work um but even when, when I didn't have the agency like it was almost like okay who will I contact now like what what will I do now like am I not going to get any jobs that's what was kind of hard like will social media always be a thing probably not so it's almost working for an end goal um and the hours I suppose are long like I'm here at half five and I'm filming a YouTube video and if I was actually in a normal job I'd probably be finished 
at five o'clock and got home. Um, but again, I'm making myself do this so I can do whatever I want. Like I was supposed to film this video yesterday, but I actually decided, no, I'm not. I'm gonna use the gym and I'm gonna relax. And I, I wouldn't be able to do that if I was working for someone else. So yeah, that is why I would prefer working for myself, to be honest. Oh, by the way, you would have actually seen most of these outfits on Instagram by now. I've taken so many photos in these um, because I had them planned. So, I mean, I'm not going away to buy a whole new wardrobe clothes for a video. So I'm just going to show you how to kind of change it up a bit. Uh, I'm not going to wear the same outfits all the time. This outfit is definitely on Instagram by now. Um, if not, then be prepared for it because I took a hell of a lot of photos in it. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the next outfit and the next question. Outfit number two, I again obsessed with this outfit. My sunglasses are fab. Outfit number two, again obsessed. I need to be out in the sun. Now our weather is actually crazy. This morning the weather was so hot that it was actually burning me through the car window and then about an hour later like I literally came home went to the gym and like a half hour into the gym it was pissing like it, it was actually hailstone in. Um, so you just can't trust the Irish weather so I need somewhere that I can just go out in this outfit and then not have to worry about the rain actually drenching me. So this top is from Sheen again just type in the crisscross tops and they all come up. So I actually saw them all on there. Now you can give a little boob moment if you want to give a little boob moment. Um, if not, you can obviously bring it down. I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of boob to fall out of the top, so I'm not too worried. Um, these jeans are from Zara. They're high-waisted and they have like a little bit of like a hem on top. I really, really like them. Um, I have it again paired with my Zara high tops because I just feel like they really go with this outfit. My handbag is from River Island. I actually love it. It's really like a Chanel style handbag and I really like that. Um, and my sunglasses are from Enchant. Again, Enchant, I think all of the accessories and even like my earrings, everything are all from Enchant. So definitely just go on and have a look. Um, but this is so cute. I'm actually obsessed. I'm going to get the next question up now. So the next question. Harry or Harry Niall? Or Niall. Ashley, what are you doing to me? Like, why are you asking me this question? I don't know. So I was asked this before, right? And I asked Ashley and I was like, Harry and I, and we two of us were sitting there like, who do we, who do we choose? Like, Niall is so, so cute and he's Irish. And, and Harry is like a whole different kettle of fish. Like he is just something else. So I'm just, I actually don't, I can't answer it, like, I feel like I would say Niall, right, because I feel like he would be a good laugh, but then I'm like, Harry is like, his style is so unreal, like, I feel like living with him would honestly be like living with a prince, like, I just think that he is so cool, I honestly, honestly, I don't know, I'll take either. <laughs> what I want you to do is comment down below who you prefer, Harry or Niall, let me know, please, because I honestly... Can't answer. So outfit number three. So outfit number three, I cannot raise my arms or you will get a full reveal. I feel like I need to go buy a really nice bralette for underneath this. Now I have a few, but I am thinking like a royal blue, um, like nice bralette or bralette, whatever way you want to say it, under this. Because when it peeps up, it would look so, so nice. So this is the outfit. So this crop shirt is from Pretty Little Thing. These flared pants are also Pretty Little Thing. I have on my Oswego's. Ignore the socks. You can't see them when the actual um, pants is over them. So pretend the socks aren't there, but I have my Oswego's on. And then this bag is my Kurt Geiger bag. I got this from TK Maxx. Um, it's really, really nice. It's chocolate brown. It's a nice under the shoulder bag. And I really like this outfit. It's almost like kind of edgy, but also still kind of cute. The pants are very, very flattering. I really like these. Um, I got a small in the pants. I think I got a size six in the pants. They're very, very stretchy. And then the top, I got a small as well. Um, but I really, really like this outfit. I think it's really cute. Um, and especially for summer, again, when we can actually wear nice clothes. But because it has long sleeves, you can actually get away with wearing this. I think a nice chile over this would be really, really nice as well. 
But yeah, let's get a question. So next question is what tan do you swear by? So I feel like you're all gonna know what I'm gonna say and it has to be Bellamyanta. Like honestly, I have started I started using Bellamyanta when I was I had turned either 17 or 18, I can't remember because I got a gift set for my birthday off of my aunt and uncle. Um and it was Bellamyanta and I remember trying it and I was like, oh my god. Like I never ever went to any other tan after trying that and that was for either my 17th or my 18th birthday. I'm pretty sure it was my 18th birthday. Um, but after like that was it, like since then I've been wearing it and I'm 21 now. So how many years is that? Three years? I'm really bad at maths. I love it so much. It doesn't dry out my skin. It comes out dark. Even though I wear medium, it comes out really, really nice. I have it on now. To be honest, I need to scrub my tan off and plant a fresh layer. So let's not judge it by the way I look, um, but it even photographs so well, it doesn't dry out my skin, doesn't break out my skin. I just love it, I really, really like it, and it gives a really nice like undertone. Um, there's more of a red undertone rather than an orange undertone, so it looks natural, it looks like I've been lying out in the sun, and I've just been getting like a bit of like a sunburned tan. Um, that's what I like about it, and I love it so much, so yeah, definitely better than Outfit number four. Um, I really, really like this outfit. Um, I'm thinking like nighttime, like going out vibes, obviously without the glasses, but like a night out when you're on holidays, this is definitely what I would wear. I am really, really liking this outfit. So my top is from Dunn's. Dunn's, like Dunn stores are supplying some really, really nice clothes, which I think is good because it's honestly the only shop you can actually go into and look at the clothes. Um, so it's nice to have something to look at and we're not just scrolling on our phones or on our computer waiting for something nice to come online. My skirt is from Sheen again, so I think this is like another four or five euro. Um, and it has the little like underwear part that comes up it's obviously part of the skirt but it looks really cool like this is like a really cute outfit but then this is almost making it kind of like sultry and sexy which i like i have it paired with my over the knee boots from shoe i actually tagged on my instagram if you want to have a look but these are just over the knee high boots from shoe and then i have my little powder bag again and my glasses are from enchant really really cute like i really do like this um outfit and again for a night out when you have the flat boots on they look like you look really dressed up but you don't have to worry about your feet in heels um i'm actually kind of obsessed with this outfit so question what are your thoughts on manifestation okay not to make this very very long i think personally it 100 percent works like the whole manifest, it's so hard to explain what manifestation is and it took me a long while to actually understand what it actually means. Like I believe that what you give out to the universe you get back. Um, if not the same energy, better. Um, I feel like if you are giving out these positive vibes, positive things are going to happen to you and good things are going to happen to you. If you are going to keep letting out all these negative thoughts, they're going to just bounce back. It's the vibrations you're letting out, you're going to get back it's almost like a boomerang um so that's what i see and then when you put that in terms of your goals and you manifest your goals and you you say these things out loud it's almost like the universe hears you and it gives you what you're saying but you also need to put in the work it's not like i'm gonna lie down in my bed now and i'm gonna say okay i want to have my own brand i want to have my own brand but i don't do anything about it it's like giving out what you want to do setting off all of your positive vibrations while also putting in the work it makes it a lot easier that's the way i see it um people might find it stupid i know a lot of people think that it's just a lot of witchery and it doesn't make sense when but when you actually like i've read a lot of books on it and i've watched a lot of um youtube videos on it and that is why i believe in it so if you just put the time into learning about it you might understand it a bit more it's really really hard to explain i might actually link like a manifestation video down below that i've watched and um, because it just explains it a bit better if you believe that manifestation works it puts you in this really really positive mindset and that mindset really works for anyone that is a business owner or is just trying to like sell any sort of business or product online it's a good mindset to have um especially if you have a goal at the end of all of this but yeah 
I do believe in it and that is my thoughts on it. I think it's really, really good and I think it's really encouraging and motivating as well. Um, but definitely have a look on YouTube, buy some books about it to understand it yourself because it's just so hard to actually explain um, myself because I just understand it myself and I feel like anyone else just needs to kind of do that. Um, outfit number five. I think we're now for number five, lads. I'm so confused. This is cute. Now, the only thing I will say is that these pants are actually too big and I need to get them taken in. So I would recommend to go commando because your knickers are not going to stay down that low. This is really cool. I thought the gelée would actually just give a pop of colour, but I mean, without it, this is a real, like, this could definitely be like a going out kind of look. So I'm wearing the same top as the previous outfit. So Dunn's, again, five euro you need them. Um, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. It's because I don't have a mirror and I'm afraid that these are going to fall down. Um, but again, five euro done to get them. The pants are from Sheen. Um, I love this effect again, like the skirt that I had on before. It just gives it a really sultry kind of look while also you wear the pants, you're going to keep warm. Do you know what I mean? Um, I really, really like it. I love the low rise. Like low rise pants are really in, but anyone that just likes the look of the high rise and how it like that is your body you're getting a bit of both so i really, really like this i just have on my black boots again but like a pair of black heels would look so cute and then it's a really nice like going out outfit the gelée just adds a pop of color so this is cute like when it comes to the hotter days i think this is just cute with a pair of runners you could go for like white runners um and it would just kind of break up the black I think this is so, so nice. I think it's so cute. You could have a little handbag or you could just not carry one. So to be honest, I actually don't even carry handbags or I just have my phone in my purse. Um, so the next question is, have you ever got filler before? And yes, I have. I've got filler in my lips. I've got my lips done three times. Um, the first time was two years ago, which is actually crazy to think. Two years ago, I got a full mill and then... A few months later I got another full mill and then I just got them topped up June of last year um, when everything opened up. I got them topped up half a mill and that's all I've got. And to be honest I feel like they've gone down a lot but I do prefer them the way they are now. Um, I haven't got filler anywhere else ever before. I don't plan on doing it either. I feel like we all just need to age. Now I say that now and then when I see a wrinkle I'll probably go in and Botox my whole face. Okay, I apologise for the lighting because it's getting really dark outside and I only have my bedroom light and these lights behind me. My ring light is out the back, which I could go out and get, but I am just way too lazy to do that. I feel like getting in and out of these clothes is enough movement for me for today, besides the gym that I did this morning. So I'm just like, no, I'm just going to have to get over it and I'm just going to have to hurry on. But this is outfit number five. Yeah, six, seven, eight. No. This is outfit number six. This is outfit number six. Um, I feel like these outfits are all so different, but that's just my style. Like I could be the girliest girl one day. I could just like a boy the next day. I could look like I am, I just don't have mirrors in my house some days. So I'm wearing the knee high black boots again. I have also put on a dark brown, a dark brown black, Jesus. Dark brown bag. You could also go with a black bag. I feel like because the outfit is so light, having the black and the black together, um, it just kind of merges it together a bit more. It doesn't look like I'm just wearing big black shoes and then the rest of me just is not going to match with that. But that's just a, a tip. If you're wearing dark shoes, make sure that some of your accessories are dark and it'll just look a bit better. Um, this corset is a corset, corset, corset. I say corset. It's from Pretty Little Thing. I actually love it. It has the wiring in it as well. This was in my haul um, that I did previously. I love it so much. I've also paired it with my little tennis skirt from Bershka. I got this again in Milan, but they have these online. They also have these on Sheen, so I feel like you definitely find a tennis skirt anywhere. Um, and then over top, I have my shirt dress from In The Style. It's the Lorna Lux collection. You all know I love Lorna Lux, like her style is unreal. The sleeves on this shirt just make it so different to a normal white shirt. It's so cute. Again, like this done up with a black belt across would just look unreal. Like, oh my God, yeah. I can literally picture it with black boots and everything and a big black belt. Yeah, I just love it. It's so versatile. Like I'm wearing it now as like an over shirt. You can wear it as a dress. You can wear it underneath stuff, like underneath sweater vests, underneath jumpers. 
I just think it's so cute and then the sleeves just give it a lot of structure um, and a lot of volume just to make it different to be honest. Um, again the Kurt Iger bag but yeah I'm actually obsessed with this outfit it's so so cute. So the next question is do you miss working in Mac? Of course I miss working in Mac. I, I miss like getting ready every single day as if it was a night out to literally just go in and talk about makeup all day like I loved it so much I also loved like people watching Mac is right next to the window and I would stand there all day and look at everyone out in town now what I didn't like is that when it was summer and it was so sunny and I was standing inside and I was like oh my god look at all these people in their shorts but I really really miss even the atmosphere in Mac like when you walk into the back counter there's the music playing it's a good beat drop you have all the girls we're all done up we're all actually so happy like we all actually had so much fun in that counter um I do miss being there and I miss just being with the girls um and talking about makeup and doing makeup like doing me on a Saturday we would have about 12 people each to do on the counter and I just miss that so much um generally just miss being with the girls on the counter and getting dressed up um yeah oh god I actually want to cry now okay I've done something here and I don't know whether to love it or hate it I have a turtleneck on under a dress that I got for my birthday now I don't know whether this is actually nice or if I look kind of stupid now I mean we're all here to just try something new but I kind of like I kind of like this I kind of like it. This um, turtleneck is from again the Lauren Lux collection on In The Style and so is this dress. And I had seen online that she had this on with, it was like a kind of cape, like a black cape and she had a little leather skirt on top. And I was like, I could definitely do that with the dress that I got. So that is what I thought. Now I still have the black boots on. Um, so again, they're from Shu. Do I like it? I feel like you would definitely see someone wear something similar at like Paris Fashion Week. Like that is the kind of idea I have in my head. Um, layering up uh, items of clothing is a really, really big thing now. And just layering up like dresses or like jumpers on top of shirts or even having like a crop top with an overshirt and a jacket. Layering is like a big thing. So that is the idea I had in my head, like a dress or a turtleneck. Even like a turtleneck with a closed shirt on top, it still looks really, really cool. And I think having the baby pink is giving it a proper colour as well. So this with like a black handbag. One second, I get my handbag. This with oh, the handbag. I think this is really, like, this is really cute. Um, yeah, okay, I do like it. I know it's kind of different, but I think it's really cute. It's really like mature. It's really classy. But again, giving off that like cute girly vibe as well, um, I actually kind of love this. The next question is, how old were you when you started dating? Um, so my first boyfriend um, that I was like properly, properly interested in was when I was 17, which is Luke. Um, so I would say around 17, um, but I would definitely say 17 is when it was serious um, and when I was actually like going on dates and my first date was actually with Luke um, so I would say around 17 is that okay to say? <laughs> outfit number 8, I'm guessing it's outfit number 8 because I have only 2 outfits left on my bed so if it's not or I'm only doing 9 outfits I think it's outfit number 8, I'm not going to go back and check outfit number 8 <laughs> um, so this is really cute, this is like streetwear kind of and um, that's what I'm saying about like my outfits are just so different all the time like streetwear then you'd have like high fashion and you'd have like Paris fashion week kind of looks you'd have you have anything like I, I go from streetwear to girly to classy to like dressing like an, a boy um but that's just me and that's what I love about fashion is that you could literally wear what you want when you want and so this is the outfit this Cropped shirt with the little cutout is from Bershka. I got this in a sale, so I'm not sure if it's still there. It should be. Um, these jeans are from Sheen. You've seen these a lot on my Insta because I actually live in them. They are my favourite pair 
of cut out flare jeans that I own. Um, yeah, they are flared at the end. I have my Oswego's on. Um, I think a pair of boots would also be really cute, but I love my Oswego's. Like, I love um, the kind of designs on them, and they just look good with... This outfit just looks good with a chunky runner. Um, and again, my little Prada just sits nicely on the shoulder and I think this is really, really cute. So another question is, have you any tattoos or are you planning any tattoos? So I do have tattoos. I actually have a whole video dedicated to my tattoos and piercings if you want to go back and watch it. Um, I have finger tattoos. I have the ones that I can show you. I have a little one there. Um, where else do I have tattoos? Oh yes, I have C'est La Vie. I have a cup of tea here. I have a little rose. What else do I have? I have a anchor on my ankle. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. If I forgot any, they're all in the video. Um, am I planning any tattoos? I can't wait to get a tattoo. Like when the tattoo parlor is open, I am going to be the first in there because I really want a shoulder piece. Now I don't want anything like too dark or like masculine. Do you know like shoulder tattoos can be a bit dodgy. It can make you look kind of like ma like I think they make you look almost manly. Now I've seen girls with shoulder tattoos and they're unreal. So that's the kind of girly vibe I want to go for. Um, I have an idea, almost like like nature vibes, really thin lines and not a lot of shading at all, just like an outline tattoo. Um, can't wait to get it. I would also like the design that I get up here tattooed just on my wrist, just to kind of match them up. And then that's my upper body done. I've said that already. Um, but I am really, really excited to get another tattoo. Like I honestly can't wait. That's the first thing I want to do. And then I want to go on holidays, of course. So this is outfit number nine. So this is outfit number nine. I told you already, like my style is just different every single day. Um, this, so this is a vinyl, it's not leather. I think it's called vinyl. I think that's what it said. I'll correct myself around the screen if I'm wrong. Um, but this vinyl blazer is from Pretty Little Thing. The pink version of this is actually, it's like a pinky kind of rose pink version of this is in the um, Molly May collection. It's unreal. That's the one I wanted originally, but it was sold out. So I said, you know what? I'll have the black because black does go with everything. Um, it's from Pretty Little Thing, it has nice shoulder pads as well, so it is giving a lot of structure with the shoulder pads and the way it comes in at the waist. If you can see here, there's little buckles. It's really, really flattering on the body. I have it paired with some bicycle shorts. These are black bicycle shorts, just from Pennies um, or Primark for anyone that is living in the UK. I have my welly boots on. The welly boots are making it more it's making it trendy and um, i feel like the black boots would have given it a very grungy look but that wasn't really the look i was going for so i feel like the welly boots are just keeping it on trend um and just keeping it kind of classy like the boots are really really nice they're really on trend um the bicycle shorts are really cute as well i have a top one under here that is from sheen you honestly can't see it i probably didn't even need the top like a nice bralette underneath would have looked fab and I just have the Kirk Geiger bag again. Chocolate brown looks really really nice with the black and again the khaki is almost just kind of tying the two together but I really really like this outfit like it is really nice again it's different but we're all here to try new styles of fashion Um, I really do love it and I feel like I need the pink I definitely need the pink so the next question is what do you love most about your job um, and there's another one, do you find your job hard or tiring? I feel like they're kind of similar to the first question, but the first question was kind of, the first question I was kind of comparing to, but what I love most about my job, I can kind of do what I want, um, and I can, again, like pick the times when I want to work, um, I'm like, I get to keep up with trends, I get to try out new things, I get to try out like new products from brands, I get to work with brands that like I loved growing up um, and I do all that while getting paid which is like a plus but I was doing it for we could say 10 months before I even got an agent for free, like I was doing it for 10 months and I would do it for free if, if it was a thing, like if I could go away and get another normal job I would do it for free but I mean if I'm going to get paid as well Obviously, I'm going to take it. Um, but yeah, it's just trying out new things and like, trying out new trends, 
being really really creative I get to do makeup for a living like I get to put makeup on myself for a living I get to dress up and do these videos free and it's my job that's what I love about it um yeah that's kind of it like I just love being able to do what I want to do um and I feel like that way when you know that someone loves like what they're doing it literally shows in their work um and I put like 100% into everything um, and yeah, that is kind of what I love about my job. So the final outfit is this really nice two-piece. It's a lounge set. And my accessory is Ruby. Say hello, Ruby. Hi. Okay, put you down two seconds. Um, but this two-piece set is from In The Style. Again, it's the Lauren Lux collection. She just doesn't go wrong. Like, and I love a pop of colour. I said at the start of the year <clears throat> that this colour pink was going to be like the colour for spring and summer of 2021. And I see it everywhere now. Like, I knew it. Like, I knew that this would be the colour of the season. Um, and I actually love it. So as you can see, the pants has a tied tie at the waist, so it's really, really flattering. And they're flared on the bottom, and I have my slippers from Be Cozy. Um, they're on Instagram if you want to have a look. Um, and then the top is just a regular sweater. It's a knit sweater, and it comes in at the end as well. And I just think it's so, so nice. Again, like this jumper with a pair of jeans would be really, really cute with like a pair of white runners. Um, but this is me done for the night now, so I decided loungewear would be the very very last outfit and probably my favourite outfit out of all of them um, yeah it is really really cute but so the very last question is what are my goals for 2021 um, my goals for 2021 is to be happy I think first of all because of everything that's going on I just want to be in a good headspace and have a good mindset which I have right now I just need to keep it up um in terms of like, career wise working on a brand is like 100 percent like my goal um is to have my own brand so i feel like 2021 would be a great way to start this um to just like be a lot more successful on youtube have a successful podcast i am starting out lives on my instagram if anyone does follow me on instagram i have live sessions every thursday that i will eventually make a podcast um i'm just kind of testing the water with the lives first um so having a successful podcast growing my youtube and um, growing my insta of course um working with some future brands i just feel like i've achieved so much in the last year that i'm like i honestly don't know what the next year is going to bring do you know it's actually it's so exciting to see what's actually going to happen um but overall just to be happy um and just be like hard working honestly i don't know how to answer it but yeah i think that is that is my answer to just be happy and be enjoying my job but that is it so that is the end of the video i that took a while that took like two hours um i don't know why i think i was just rambling and then half a two i had to upload a competition to instagram right now on instagram i have a competition running with the good food outlet which is a local um food outlet that is targeted towards anyone that is on like a fitness journey so it's like healthy food um that kind of thing i actually have this from there so i'm working really really closely with them and they're supplying like my dinners and stuff for the next few weeks we have competition running with a few good like um optimum protein bits in it so there's like a hoodie gear bag protein um pre-workout and all that if you go over to my instagram i will leave my name here you'll be able to enter that and um, it's running until next friday I'm eating a baked cookie from there now and like there's 13 grams of protein in this cookie and it just tastes like a normal chocolate chip cookie. Um, so these are the kind of stuff that they supply. Um, they're really, really nice. And the competition is worldwide so it can be posted. So definitely head over and have a look. Um, I'm live every single Thursday on my Instagram doing live sessions, different topics every single week. Um, and I think that's it. All of my socials will be down below. I'm basically Chloe Kais on everything like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Don't really use Twitter that much. I say this in every video and I say that I'm going to use it more but I just don't. Um, Instagram. Instagram. Instagram is like the main kind of platform that I go for. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what you want to see next.
answer the question, Harry and I, I need you to answer it. Um, like and subscribe to my channel, please. It means the world. And definitely head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. But yeah, that's enough for now. So you're sick of listening to me. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.